Hi, I'm Slasher, and as you can see here, this is my way of playing Obsidian Destroyer offlane. So he's really a strong offlaner, and when you get level 6, it's very easy to, to get even a double kill, as you can see here. So the great thing about Obsidian Destroyer in the offlane is that he can remove the enemy's carries mana, can just remove that completely. And be very strong in the lane, just also because he has high base armor, high move speed, and really high um, attack damage. So I also like to, with items, I like to go threads into Shadowblade and then Orchid. And with Shadowblade, that makes your Outworld Devourer very, um, very good at ganking people. And sometimes I would also go Blink Dagger if I already have someone on my team who, who is in this. And with Blink Dagger and Orchid, you're also able to kill most of the enemy heroes. And you can also do something much like Puck, where you face shift and then blink out. It's harder, but you can do it. And then blink away to safety. So, basically, with Shadowblade and Orchid, you can um, go very close to people and then gank them. And with your orb as well, you have a very high damage potential. It's also very hard to actually zone you from the lane because even as you see here, even I'm, I'm quite low against Rubik, then I'm actually able to just trade hits with him because of my high armor, because of my high um, high base damage. So my item build is that I get usually get Tread, Shadow Blade, Orchid, and then I will go Octavine Core afterwards. And later in the game, you can also of course get BGB or Shiva's Guard. Actually, the Hyperstone is quite good, and you can also consider Hex. When using Astral Imprisonment later, I recommend that you primarily do it defensively on your own teammates, since it's very easy to actually mess up and save the enemies if you use it offensively on them. And you can't really, if you have a engagement or you're trying to push high gun or something like that, you can't just use it maybe let's say three or four times before you engage on the enemy, that's that's not how Dorsa work works. What actually will happen is that you will try to use it on someone and then they will just engage on you and then you start the, the fight. So you can see here, I should definitely have used it on Earthshaker, the Astral Imprisonment, I could have saved him there, but I didn't do it because I'm a scrub. There are a few situations, however, where it can be very good to use it on the enemy, so especially in a two, two against one situation alone, you can use it on one enemy and then take the other enemy out. So for skill build, I get I max the astral imprisonment, and then I get at level two I get the the passive aura, and then I, at level four I get the one level in orb, and I get ultra whenever possible. And then I will max the aura first because you can really run out of mana quickly, and then afterwards the orb. So basically, there's there's basically two parts to this guide. One of this is that I suggest Obsidian Destroyer offlane. And I think that really works great and he's quite underplayed hero at the moment because people don't realize how strong he actually is. And I really think that offlane is is where he really shines. So that's that's one part where I suggest offlane. You can we can you can criticize that, you can look at that. And then the other part is that I suggest you go Tread, Shadowblade, Orchid. And that's maybe a bit more controversial. It's kind of like building it like the silencer. And if you don't want to do that, well then fine. You can also just go offlane and then go, let's say, Treads into Mecha and then Ace or something like that. You can also try that. I just really like the, the Shadowblade build because it, it allows me to to go into a very hard carry and to actually gank people solo. That's what I really love in Dota, when I can gank people solo. I don't need to rely too much on allies. And when you go offlane, be sure to actually plant your your ward to block the camp. If you don't block that camp, you can very easily get zoned. So that's a very important camp to block. When you get Octavine Core, it's very good because what this build basically lacks is that you have no health regeneration. 
by altering core, it will give you a lot more damage and it will also make you life steal off your orb attacks. So that, that really helps a lot on staying on the map. This will actually be the last guide that I make. Because I realized I really can't play Dota anymore since when I play I either I don't play for like weeks, I don't play at all. Or when I, I then if I just try to take one or two games then I just like play all day. So I may return or uh, if I get invited to stuff as a caster analyst, I will probably be there. I'm still going to be active on my stay a while and listen philosophical literature channel history as well. You can check out my latest video on Nietzsche and the ladies from feminist to misogynist. Louis Salome was not interested in ending up in a submissive married role and even told the men she met that her love life was closed for the duration of her life. Yet Nietzsche and Rhee still persevered in gaining her affection 